All right, I got out here today and uh, ground down in the well some more and touched it up. Ended up blowing holes all over the place and having to patch holes back in. But I finally got it cleaned up and painted, and it is ugly. So, um, this is Rustoleum right now, and I've got to put the window back in. And talking to some other people, Rustoleum doesn't, the, the urethane that they use to stick the window in doesn't stick well to Rustoleum. So, there's a good chance if I leave this Rustoleum, the window will pop out. And so, I'm looking at, you know, what do I want to use? And really, if they're going to use urethane, I'd like to use a urethane paint. So this is just temporary right now. Um, it, this, this will hold, the, the, this will keep the, this from rusting anymore until I get further on it. But more than likely, I'm going to bring a wire wheel in and clean all this paint off. And then I'll, you know, take it back to bare metal. And I'll use a urethane primer, a urethane filler, because this, this is monkey butt. And, you know, I, I do want to make it look a little nicer than that. That looks pretty hokey. So I will use some urethane and... Uh, you know, a primer and then a filler, get it smoother. I'm not worried so much about getting some of the dents out. You know, there's a dent up here, there's a dent here. Uh, I'm more worried about uh, getting it to look, at least to match the patina of the truck. So once I get that done, then I'll shoot it with some, some black, uh, some gloss black and put a clear coat over it. And uh, at that point, I'll be ready to have the rear window reinstalled. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to buy the paint and do that, but uh, more than likely I'm going to buy some 2K rattle cans. And, you know, just you know, one can of each looks like it's going to be about $120. And that should get my paint for the back window and get the back window situated. Now, $120 is pretty expensive, but, you know, versus replacing the rear window because it fell out because I used Rust-Oleum. Okay, I think I'll bite the bullet and get the right paint. So, um, here you go. You know, this is kind of the, this is the last bit on uh, repairing the body work on Roscoe I think I'm going to do. So, this is what you're looking at. Um, whenever I do get the paint and do the back window, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, see if I do some video on that. But for right now, I think this is all the rust repair and hole patching I'm going to do on this truck. So, uh, I'll let you know. And on the inside here, that seam, I'm not going to bother grinding down. That's going to be hitting my headliner. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's not going to show. Uh, there's plenty of little holes that didn't get welded up on that, but that's on the inside. It doesn't need to be waterproof. Uh, it's not going to be unsightly having a hole up there hidden by the headliner. So uh, that's as good as that's going to get. And I'm not going to clean that off and repaint it whenever I redo the back window. So.